Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Don here. So I'm here um, to do some little clothes pins that we can add on to our journals. Um, let me just grab my journal down. Okay, so I have this uh, journal that I made last year and it is super chunky. I absolutely love it and it's gorgeous. And what I thought would be nice is to make some of these little claws pins that we can stick on to our um, journals. Now, I've just realised that my camera... Oh, there we go. That's much better. Right, um, I've just made, I've just done a video where I've made a bracelet, so um, yeah, it should be up before this one, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, so I thought it'd be nice if we made um, some little claws pin um, charms. So what I'm going to do, now these were from BB Crafts. Um, and I also got these gorgeous leaves from BB Crafts as well. So I thought we'll use a few of these on our piece. So I'm just going to, because I think I'm going to make five. So let's, um, not all of them I'm going to have the leaves on. I think we'll just have three with the leaves on. So just going to use those. So I will leave um, a just. Um, in the description box below, I'll leave links. Um, but I love this tub, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's so sturdy, um, really, really like it. So I love the fact that it came in the tub. Right, um, I've just got a few um, sort of ribbons and um, wool and a few bits out of my stash. Um, we do also have the ribbon that we got from Baby Crafts, which I thought we could use some of that as well. Um, so I'm just gonna cut some off like so so what we're going to do is the first thing now I want these to be um, just quite small to start with um, so let's grab this so the first style of a pin that we're going to do is we're just going to sort of pin them in together like that so um, just on there um, just because of the, the style of ribbon and how thick it is if we go over it it's going to sort of be a bit um, a bit chunky so we do the same with this lilac ribbon as well and then we're just going to cut that off oh if my scissors want to work there we go and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to grab some of this seam uh, is it seam? no oh, I can't remember the name of it um, but it's like really nice ribbon I'm going to pop that on there as well so this one is going to be just a ribbon one and then when you close that up they have a nice little dangle so let's bring our journal in and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin this to here uh, that's what I love about these because they are pins you can just pin them in um, and there we have our first sort of um, little dangle how gorgeous is that so that's just very very simple so the next one uh, let's do a black one a black one why not um actually i might do two black ones okay so what i'm going to do with this one is going to use the eyelash trim so i'm going to cut this was gifted to me um with um a pocket letter so i'm not sure who it was off but thank you so much um i do keep everything that is gifted to me and i do try and use it so we're just i'm just pulling some eyelash trim out so um I've done six so we're going to have three on each okay now with this one I am going to thread it through that hole and then so we're looping it on this time we're not um, threading it on and then we're just going to grab those ends and pull it through so it sort of um, hooks on to it just like that so really really simple but you know it really adds just that little extra something now you don't have to add this to a journal you can add this to cards pocket letters um to any sort of gifts really i mean you could even put it on a key ring as well um so and now i just want one more on okay and then with this one okay well, i'm not 
I was thinking shall I add a charm onto this one but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to pull that through like so and again we are just hooking this one on. So this eyelash trim <coughs> is absolutely perfect for these. I mean how gorgeous does that look? So again let's bring in our book and what I'm going to do this time is we are going to um, I pop it onto a page so I'm going to pop it in onto this page and all we do is we just sort of pierce it through um, just like we would a safety pin if I can get this in there we go and there we have some more fibres connected to our page okay so now next a bit next one um i want these want one of the charms on so we're just going to put that on like so and that's all i'm going to do um just because i think how cute is that right, i need it to go that way um and we're just going to um whereabouts do i want it um oh how about on this page so and this time i'm just going to go through the page once so it just hangs so just like that and that how I mean how nice does that look it's just that little extra detail isn't it and then I think the last one so let us grab two um let's grab one of these do I want to do one or two let's do two why not okay so I'm going to add um one of these on so let's add this on. So we're going to add a bit of eyelash trim onto this one. We're going to add a little bit of, um, is it seam allowance? No, it's not seam allowance. I can't think of the name of it. I do know the name. I know I know the name. But I really can't remember. Please do let me know in the uh, comment section. Although I do know that as soon as I turn this, this off, um, yeah it's going to be um i'll know it straight away so as soon as i start another video but i can't exactly just shout it out in another video can i <laughs> whether i do another video today i don't know so there we have it so this one's got a bit of ribbon it's got a bit of seam uh seam a bit of ribbon and a bit of eyelash trim and then we have this gorgeous charm and then the last one um i'm just going to add these few bits of eyelash trim um and I love the fact that this pack comes with four different colours because then you can really, really uh, spice things up. So let's pop that on. And then I'm going to put this other one on. And as we have one more charm left, we'll put the charm on as well. So I just wanted to come on and show you just um, how quick and easy it is just to add a little bit of extra detail to your pocket letters, to your journal. Um, like I say, you can add these onto key rings as well. Um, it, these are just very basics. I mean, the, yeah, the, um, the amount of things that you can do with these are endless so definitely definitely um something that i really like and i think it'll be really really cool to do lots more of them so i'm just finding some places in my journal so this one we're going to just do on the page and you can um do different themes as well so these I mean these are really just what was in my drawer I think this one's my favorite I think this is the one that I love the most so you know what who said we couldn't have two on the front cover so we are we're gonna have two on because I really like that one as well so yeah so like I said just a quick video just wanted to show you um how i use these claws pins i mean they're just absolutely gorgeous the link to them is in the description box below um and i mean this video has been sponsored by bb craft so thank you so much for that um but yeah they do have a youtube program as well so do um have a look into that um so i think the only requirement is that you need to have a hundred subscribers so um yeah but there you have
have it so they are my clothes pins dangles again don't have to use them on a junk journal you can use them on pocket letters you can use them on even like um if you if you've got a pen pal you could put them on them letters and um, you can add them to your bags you can oh you can oh, they feel i'm gonna just keep playing with these because they feel amazing um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it here today. Thank you so much for watching. Like I say, everything that you need to know is in the description box below. All the links are there. Um, yeah, and we'll see you very soon in another video. But until then, happy crafting. Bye.